When I was assigned as the principal of Clear Lake High School, the reason I was sent there was that there had been a lot of problems. Uh, and I always seemed to be that person that was sent in to put out the fires. And so when I got there, there was a lot of tension, a lot of, of mistrust about the ad administrators or from, because some things had gone on that were inappropriate. So one of the, the actions that I decided to take was getting to know all the teachers, all the, all the employees. And I wasn't sure how to do that, so I got a yearbook and from the previous year and looked and studied and, and just learned all the names of, of all the teachers. And then, of course, with the custodial staff, the secretarial staff, I just would go around and visit with them. And, and, and at the time, I had a better memory than I have now. Uh, so I was actually able to, uh, to know uh, the names of everyone, uh, the nighttime custodians, the daytime custodians, the, the police officers. Those were very important people. Uh, the secretaries, the aides, um, and and there were 325 employees. So I felt like that that was a, a pretty big task and, and I did accomplish it. Right before school started, we had, um, you know, a convocation, you know, day, a day that that we were to get together and, and our, our team, our administrative team, we uh, did a skit um, about dress code and we dressed inappropriately and did all that. But the other thing that we did is we brought in a food, um, I guess now they're called food trucks, and uh, there was a company that came in and they did uh, fried fish and fried shrimp and hush puppies and coleslaw and, you know, just everything. Everything was there. Everything was prepared. Nobody had to potluck it or anything. And so. I saw how much money was at that school that wasn't spent, and so I had this company come in, and everyone in our school, from the night custodian to the top principal, we were at that luncheon, everyone. And yes, did it close down the school? Yes, it really did, but it was very, very important bonding for our school, and that's when I was able to say, oh yes, hi, did you know so-and-so, and do you know, and there, and that's when people told me that, that they had been at that school for 10, 15 years, and that no principal had ever spoken to them, much less called them by name. And so I knew that even if I didn't know all of the policies and procedures for graduation, and that there were people there that knew those things, that my job was to build community within that school. And I did.